What's up everybody, it's time now for another deck unboxing and today we're going to be looking at the Madison Acolytes. So what is the Madison Acolyte playing cards? So this is a new deck from Daniel Madison and this was limited to only 400 decks available. So this is a deep blood red deck and it holds Masonic undertones and proudly joins the classic Madison icon legacy. So within the deck there are 13 hidden revelations and all of the faces and aces have been redesigned. These are printed on a 2022 improved Madison stock and if you've seen or had any of the other Madison playing cards which are printed on the Madison stock you know that they're really really good. So like I said there's 13 hidden reveals which will have look through the cards and figure them out and show them on there. There's also two gaff cards included in the deck. So how much are the playing cards priced at? Unfortunately now they are sold out because it was only limited to 400 but when they were on the website they were priced at £15 per deck. So let's get started with the unboxing. So here we go this is the package that I got with the cards in. I'm gonna get that open. Inside of there I got a smaller one so we'll just get that opened as well. So here we go, here's the deck of the Acolytes. And it's in the shrink wrap as opposed to the normal USPCC style tuck case where you uh, you pull it off with the, the side, but still gives for easy access in. So here's the front of it, and it's the same on the back. So this is the back design of the playing card. So then on the top, you also have the little logo on the, the flip for the tuck case. Both sides on the sides are blank, and then on the bottom, it has the text there. So Madison Acolyte, madison.cards, made in China with additional art by Daniel Schneider. So let's uh, get it open and see what's inside. So the top part of the tuck case is blank. We've got the cards in here. So when the cards come out, they're in a stack of all the kings together, all the queens, all the jacks, tens, nines, all the way down to the aces. And then you also have the three additional cards. So we'll just go through them now. So the first one is the king of hearts. You can see it's been redesigned. And on this bit here, you can see the new Madison logo. And also on here, there's a hidden card card reveal which is the seven of spades next one up king of diamonds and you can see this is daniel madison himself so on here you've got the new logo and in this hand here you have a nine of clubs card reveal and there's also a number 22 reveal on the other hand there you can see there's a number 22 reveal next up you've got the king of clubs and also on this one as you can see here there's a hidden two of clubs reveal and it's shallow both so just remember just, just do it, it. So this is the King of Spades, and this is Rob, which is Daniel's tattoo artist. As you can see in the middle, he's got the new logo. There's also a Seven of Diamonds reveal on the forehead in between all the tattoos on his head, which is shown there. So next up the deck is the Queen of Hearts, and on both sides it's got the new logo on there as well. And there's also a card reveal just there, which is the King of Diamonds. Next one out the deck is the Queen of Diamonds. And again, this has got another hidden reveal. So if you see there in the flower, you have a Three of Hearts reveal in that flower as well. Next one up is the Queen of Clubs and that's Amy Winehouse herself. And again, there's another hidden playing card reveal on it. You see there on the side, there's an Ace of Hearts reveal as well. Next one out the deck is the Queen of Spades and this is Hannah. As you can see in her hand, she's got a four of spades reveal and there's also a number nine in the necklace. So there's two reveals on that one. Next up the deck is the Jack of Hearts and this is Chris Stanislas. And his favorite card, the Four of Hearts, is found under one of the axes. So as you can see there, there's the Four of Hearts reveal. Next up is the Jack of Diamonds, and this is Daniel Schneider. As you can see here, there's another little reveal for the Two of Spades on the jacket there. And there's also Daniel Schneider's rose there on the other side. And here's the Jack of Clubs, and it's the man himself, Mr. Ian Curtis from Joy Division. And again, he's got a, a playing card reveal as well. If you see there on the side of his design, he's got a Three of Spades reveal. And last but not least out the deck, this is the Jack of Spades and this is Lil Peep. As you can see here on this side, he's holding of Eight of Diamonds reveal as well. So on the other side, it's just a normal thing that he's holding. But then when it's flipped around, you can see there, it's got the Eight of Diamonds. So again, going through, they're all in the order of the number rather than all the hearts together, all the clubs together, etc, etc. So see the, the blacks are really nice black and the red is very similar to the the red of the back as well, rather than the, the really bright red. So I'll just go through all of these. So these are all the number ones. And now we get to the part where we're gonna go through the aces. So we have the ace of hearts there, which is sort of a very standard design as well, but it's in that dark red color rather than the bright red. So there's one thing to point out, it's normally the Ace of Spade, which has the intricate designs on with cards, generally speaking. However, on this one, he's gone for the Ace of Diamonds and put the new Madison logo 
with the text there as well. So obviously those are your aces. So in the deck as well, you get a duplicate king of diamonds. And this one also has the 22 reveal. However, the playing card on this one is the five of spades rather than the nine of clubs. So you've got two forces that you could use rather than using the king of diamonds on each person and force the nine of clubs. You can actually force the five of spades on this one as well. So then you have this melt gaff card. So when you've got it in the deck like this, it just looks like a three of spades, but then obviously on the other side, it would look like a king of hearts. So you can use that for a multitude of different magic tricks and things like that. So for example, you can see you've got the two kings here and just gonna turn them around and then when you flip them back, it turns into a king and a three. So really simple to do different tricks like that and really, really effective. And then last but not least, you have the nine of clubs, which is a duplicate. However, on the back of this, you have the angle zero gimmick as well. So essentially with that, all you do is you rip off the corner of the nine of clubs and then you reveal to the spectator that it's stuck to the deck of cards. So again, we look through all the fronts of the cards and now this is on the back. So as you can see here, it's a, a nice dark red design it's got the white borders with the white logos on there as well and again it's uh and the same logo on it either side so it doesn't matter which way the the deck's turned so when you look through them you've got a really nice white border and it's nice and thick enough to show the white and you've also got the red of the cards coming through as well so now it's on the handling of the deck and as these are done with the madison stock which is a new 2022 finish on it as well they're really really nice so if you've seen the the previous video i did on the madison pink advocates you'll know how well they are and how well the, the handle and stuff like that So those were the Madison Acolytes. Hope you enjoyed the video and looking at the cards and all the, the information behind the cards and things like that. I've got quite a few more playing card reviews and unboxings on the channel coming up soon, along with a bunch of other videos and things like that. I've got some top fives and top 10 lists that I want to do as well, and a bunch of other things regarding other magic videos and things like that. So, so again, hope you enjoyed the video. And there's a link up here to the previous Daniel Madison deck review that I did or unboxing. So if you want to check that out, then head over to the link. Until next time, see ya.